Division of a Line Segment Today in this video, we will learn to divide a line segment in a given ratio. Look at this line segment AB here. Can you divide AB into two equal parts? In the previous class, we learned how we can construct a perpendicular bisector of a line segment which divides this line into two equal parts AM and MB. Can you tell that the point M divides the line AB in what ratio? Absolutely correct. Since AM and MB are equal, hence point M divides the line AB into ratio 1 is to 1. Now if we want to divide the line AB into four equal parts, then what shall we do? Well done! We can take the help of perpendicular bisectors to do it. Here, AP, PM, MQ and QB are four equal parts of the line AB. Where point P divides the line AB in the ratio of 1 is to 3. The point M divides the line AB into 1 ratio 1. Can you tell? The point Q divides the line AB in what ratio? Well done! This points divides the line into 3 ratio 1. From this process, we can say that if we divide a line segment into 1 ratio 3 or if 3 ratio 1, then we must first divide the line segments into 4 parts. Now, if we want to divide the line segment into 5 ratio 3, what do we have to do? What do you understand by dividing the line into 5 ratio 3? This means that we have to divide this line into 8 equal parts. Also, we have to find a point that divides the line segment into 5 ratio 3. It will be difficult to do this and there are more chances of mistakes in this method. We have another simple method of dividing a line segment in the given ratio. Let's see. For this, again the line AB will be considered. And on this line, draw an acute angle MAB. Now, the ray AM will divide into 8 equal parts. Can you tell why the 8 parts are made here? Because we suppose we have to divide the given line segment into the ratio M is to N, the sum of which, that is, the sum of ratio tells us that into how many equal parts of array making a low angle is to be divided. As here, the line AB is to be divided into 5 ratio 3, whose proportional sum is 5 plus 3 equals 8. Can you tell? How will we divide it into equal parts? For this, we can make use of a compass. Let's see how we can do it. In the compass, take an approximate radius of 1 cm. Without changing radius, on the ray AM, mark 8 arcs, that is, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, a7, 
A8 respectively so that AA1 equal A1 A2 equal A2 A3 equal A3 A4 equal A4 A5 equal A5 A6 equal A6 A7 equal A7 A8 now point A8 and point B are to be connected to get line A8B. Since we are dividing the line segment into 5 ratio 3, from A5 we can draw a parallel line to A8B. To draw a parallel line from point A8 and point A5, draw an arc of equal radius. Now, on the angle AA8B, using the compass, another arc is drawn on this arc, from which we get point X. Now, let's connect point A5 and point X. We further extend the line A5X so that it intersects AB at P. So, in this way, we get a point P, which divides the line AB into 5 ratio 3. Can you tell how it is possible that by dividing another line, we are able to divide the given line in the same ratio? Let's see how. If the triangles ABA8 are focused upon, the lines BA8 and PA5 are parallel to each other. Now, from the basic proportionality theorem, we can say that AP upon PB is equal to AA5 upon A5A8. Since AA5 over A5A8 is equal to 5 over 3, so 5 over 3 is equal to the figure, therefore, AP upon PB will be in the same ratio. So, we can say that point P divides segment AB into 5 ratio 3. In this way, it is proved that by this creation method, we are able to achieve the desired division. Today in this video, we learned about dividing a line segment in a given ratio. In the next video, we will study another method of this concept.